I wonder whether there is going to be any policy development in relation to the role of Gardaí at evictions. Obviously there was a huge controversy over the art of spice bag, um, perfectly reasonable depiction of uh, an eviction in which members of the political and media establishment absolutely lost uh, all sense of reason in terms of generating their own outrage and so on about it. Um, Incidentally, Spice Bag will be coming to the rally of Tatney House uh, residents, people who are facing uh, eviction, this Saturday at uh, 3 o'clock. But the, the video that's gone viral that Deputy Smith uh, reference of Dr. Rahil being threatened with eviction by a landlord wielding a circular saw against the door of their home and then against Dr. Rahil uh, himself, um, again highlights this issue. I mean, I. It seems to me there, there's two potential criminal issues here. One is the assault, in terms of an assault against a person. Um, but secondly, and just to check that the Taoiseach agrees, that even though the Gardaí says we don't, have, we don't have a role in evictions, where, where an illegal eviction is taking place, if it actually is illegal, the Gardaí does do have a role. Isn't that the case? Or if it's not the case, then we need to, need to have policy development in this. But actually, for illegal evictions, illegal evictions are a criminal matter, and Gardaí should be um, intervening. So, <clears throat> thanks very much, much deputies. Um, just in relation to um, Deputy Batchik's question, I just want to join with her in commending the work uh, of the Gardaí, the DPP and the courts. Uh, as she said, it is five years since there's been um, a murder in Ireland linked to a feud uh, involving uh, serious or organised crime gangs. Um, and please God that will continue. Uh, I know the Gardaí have done phenomenal work in that regard. Um, as of the prosecutors uh, and, and the court, um, two convictions secured this week, uh, one acquittal, which was not the outcome that the state wanted, but it does prove that the Special Criminal Court um, is a place where people get a fair trial. Um, and I think it underlines uh, the case for retaining it. Um, and it's particularly important, I think we all understand this, the reason, one of the reasons why we have the two Special Criminal Courts uh, is because it allows trials to happen without jury. Uh, and enables us to put some really bad people away uh, who would otherwise intimidate a jury and their family members and make it impossible uh, for there to be a trial at all. Uh, in terms of the independent review, which is being headed up by um, former Justice Michael Peart, that's the review of the uh, Offences Against the State Act. Um, I, I haven't received it yet and it hasn't gone to government yet. I don't know if the Minister of Justice has it, but I, I will find out. Um, but ideally, we'd obviously like to have it published and debated uh, before June uh, when we have the vote on the, continue, on the continuation of, of the Special Criminal Court. Um, just in relation to a Citizens' Assembly on neutrality or on security policy, um, no proposal nor any draft proposal was put to government uh, in that regard. Um, I do think the Taunish, the when Taoiseach uh, suggested as an option for consideration, um, but there was never a proposal uh, made to government. Uh, he gave it further consideration and came up with a different proposal, uh, which was um, then put to cabinet and was agreed, and that's the one he's proceeding with at the moment. Um, on collective bargaining, if my recollection is correct, uh, the commitments that we've made in relation to legislating for collective bargaining derives from the EU directive on minimum wages and collective bargaining. I think we've something like two years to produce an action plan um, and the commitment that we made was to have some legislation this year or next but uh, I haven't been across that file now for a couple of months and I'd have to check with Minister Richmond as to where, where we are in that regard but I'm happy to get back to deputies on it. Um, the expert group on the TV licence or the broadcasting charge, again haven't seen the report, uh, not sure if Minister Martin has it yet but I believe it's imminent so uh, we should see it quite soon and uh, we'll have a chance to, um, uh, to debate it. Uh, in terms of Finland and horizon, horizon planning, I do I know a little bit about that, not, not enough. Um, I'm familiar with the fact that they've had this committee for the future. I think they've had it for a long time now. It probably goes back 20 years at this stage because uh, I, I, I knew, knew a member of it um, going back, a, a Finnish MP, uh, who was a huge advocate of it. Um, and I haven't had a chance to take a look at Deputy Kasi's bill, but I, I will take a look at it um, and see if there's a uh, space for us in, in that. Um, we have an awful lot of committees, as I think the Count Corla will <laughs> acknowledge, but perhaps it might be something that we work up for the next stall um, and could, could be part of the programme for the next stall to have a committee in that regard. Um, uh, again, you know, in relation to evictions or illegal evictions, I, I'm, I'm very reluctant to make any comment uh, on any video that's, that's gone viral. Um, you know, it mightn't be, you can look at any video online, you don't know what happened 
in the four or five minutes before that or the four or five minutes after that. And I think we need to be very careful not to jump to conclusions uh, in, in that regard. Um, but you know, the role of the Gardaí is to uh, keep the peace and to enforce the law. Um, and breaking and entering somebody's property without permission is, is, is against the law. As far as I know, or threatening somebody with violence or using violence against them is against the law. Um, but these are really only questions I think the Gardaí can answer.